Wee Wow. 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 Let's talk about Dominaria Remastered and the madness that I'm seeing now that boxes are being broken. Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Dominaria Remastered. We are seeing boxes being opened, of course like a month early, two weeks, three weeks early. It's it's ridiculous what's happening on YouTube nowadays with the early openings. Don't get me wrong. If I can, I'm going to make a deal with it LGS and try to open up boxes early on my channel. Of course. Uh, who wouldn't, right? So what we're seeing out there, though, is <laughs> all the cards you could have wanted are in these boxes. All the reprints of value are in these boxes, and they are plentiful. And there's all the variants and all the fancy, fancy, shiny, shiny, flashy, flashy. I, look, is the val value there? Right now, if you open up a box, I think the value's there. There's a lot of good cards with a lot of value. However, is it worth it? I guess if you need those cards for reprints, for um, for playing or whatever, these reprints, you, it reduces the cost, right, of what you need to play with. However, prices are going to take a hit. All these reprints are going to cause things like Force of Will to have, a, you know, a, a lower ceiling. They're going to cause uh, Urza, Yogmoth. These cards are going to freaking... It's going to be tough for them to recover, right? Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. In the long run, no. Fuck no, it's not worth it. Keep sealed? Maybe. But is it worth it to crack Dominaria Remastered in order to get the singles you want? No. It's going to be worth it to buy them in 60 days. Are those cards going to come back after this reprint? You know, after they take the hit, and then you wait 60 days? A little bit, unless Wizards reprints it again, like they keep on doing with Shieldred. I don't know what to tell you when it comes to, is this set worth it? There's a lot of good cards. There's a lot of meat to it. There's a lot of common and uncommon meat. You have the full cycle of tutors and... Crazy cards like Force of Will. It's just, I in the past, if this if this set came out in 2017, if it replaced Eternal Masters, right, people would have uh, flipped out for it. This just shows that Wizards' tactic it's it sells a lot, but it's also shooting itself in the foot in that it would have more interested people. They would have more people interested in this product if we weren't just inundated and overloaded with too much stuff. Like, this set is uh, Eternal Masters meets Double Masters. Eternal Masters meets, you know, it's it's a sick set. Look at uh, how people look back at Eternal Masters. People, it's like one of the best Masters products to open at this point. I, I, who's going to argue with that, right? But, I just don't see, yeah, you saw my video, rate of reprint, it's gotten too fast, and it'll keep the prices suppressed. In fact, and not only suppressed, that they'll just keep on taking hits, and they'll try to come back, and they'll take another hit, and they'll try to come back, and they'll take another hit. As more people leave the market, it's not going to come back as much. As See what I'm saying? It's a kind of a downward spiral that Wizards is doing today. I, I don't think that Dominar Remasters Remastered is worth it unless A you're trying to play with the cards, B you're trying to crack it for fun, or C you get a good goddamn deal on sealed and you hold on to it. And you sit on it and hold on to it. That's the only time I could see it being worth it for Dominar Remastered. If you're trying to play with the cards and you're cracking the boxes, that's not worth it. If you're trying to make money by cracking boxes and selling singles, it's not worth it and it's not going to happen. If you're trying to make money off this set, there's no way you can do it by cracking stuff. If you're trying to play with this set, by cracking stuff, you're just losing money. Okay, so 
I don't see why, unless there's very specific conditions being met. I don't see why people would buy this set. I get it. It's a good set. I get it. It's a good product. It's interesting. It's cool. It's got good cards. It's got interest, uh, interesting treatments. It's just not there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a whole new world, right? We're in the post-Fireside era. We don't know how it's going to go. And this set is kind of a sign of the problem. It's it's not a bad set. It's just Time Spiral Remastered was a, was a success. Why did they change up that format? Why did they add more variants? Why did they add a collector's box? Everybody was happy with Time Spiral Remastered. If you had just done the same thing, I think everybody would have been happy with Dominaria Remastered. I don't know, that's just my silly little two cents sitting here freaking thinking about things. If you're going to buy Dominaria Remastered today, remember to use my TCG Player affiliate link. It is free, and it helps out a lot. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, check out the Patreon, channel memberships, all of the things. Have a nice day, everyone. Take care. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?